Hi, it's Mark Zinkowitz, and welcome to the podcast on this June 11th, 2020. My guest today is Manitoba's Raleigh Urich. He is the founder of Haplotech. Haplotech serves the global plant breeding industry by providing technical services in a range of crops, as well as consultation in the areas of organization and optimization of plant breeding programs. One of its specialties is industrial hemp. In fact, Haplotech recently won Energene's International Quick Genetics Contest. Haplotech was selected after presenting a project that will adopt advanced genomic tools in their breeding program. The company will receive a cannabis genomic starter package worth around $130,000 to generate unique genetic markers to identify desirable traits like flowering time, yield components, and pathogen field resistance in industrial hemp. I spoke with Raleigh Urich on the phone about their hemp project and what it means for the hemp industry and for cannabis at large. Enjoy! Raleigh, hi, thanks for joining me today. Congrats on winning this quick genetics contest. Can you tell us a little bit about your hemp project? Why is it so significant? Uh, it is significant because it will lead to better understanding of, uh, of the genetic factors that are underlying the, the, some complex traits uh, related to yield. So, you know, we are going to work with several traits that are related to plant architecture, uh, you can say yield components, and then uh, some trees that are, we call them, that protect the yield, okay. Uh, and we're talking about grain yield, but also flower yield. So uh, grain is formed on the flower, so uh, many of those trees could be applicable across uh, both uh, grain and flower types. Yeah, it's, it is important because uh, once we understand those genetic uh, factors and we map them on the genome of the cannabis genome, we can develop some DNA markers that will use as uh, that will serve as, as very useful tools to uh, track these genetic factors in the progenies and segregating populations and whatnot, and that will greatly improve the efficiency of the breeding program. And how exactly does it accomplish that? How does it improve the efficiency? Those complex traits are, are controlled by multiple laws and multiple genes. And, and all those traits are, are influenced greatly by uh, environment and genotype, by environment interaction. So they're very difficult to, to phenotype because there's lots of noise that comes with the, these environmental factors uh, in comparison to simple inherited traits. Huh? So we have complex quantitative and simply or qualitative traits. So that developing tools that will actually uh, help us screen for those traits without having to uh, put them out and phenotype them. Uh, and that phenotype will come with a great deal of noise uh, that, you know, uh, from the genotype environment interaction and the environment uh, really, really greatly improves the efficiency of a breeding program for those traits. Now, these traits that affect yield, does this apply just to industrial hemp or can this apply to, to cannabis in general? These traits are important for both cannabis and, and industrial hemp. Uh, I would say that we're working on a population of industrial hemp, but uh, many of these uh, genetic factors could be up uh, you know, would carry across a wide range of genotypes, both cannabis and industrial hemp. Uh, industrial hemp and cannabis are biologically really the same uh, plant. It's like saying uh, silage corn and grain corn, or saying canola and rapeseed. So they're really biologically the same crop, just the utilization due to a, a very simple genetic uh, factor is, is different. I imagine the legalization of recreational cannabis in Canada in 2018 has opened a lot of doors for, for the industry in general. What does the future hold? It's true, yeah. The, the, it's a very old crop, but uh, really uh, because of the legal status, uh, very little attention was uh, given uh, in, in applying the modern tools. So this is really a, you know, a great uh, opportunity to, to develop some 
applies some very modern tools to to trace of, of interest. So, uh, like those things have been resolved in crop like corn and, and, and canola many years ago, uh, just because there was commercial interest and, and the tools were available. So, uh, I think hemp is getting there. Thank you so much for listening this week. For more great podcasts, visit germination.ca.